That's a horrible thing to say to IMDb. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> they're gonna meme the shit out of that. Please welcome creator, showrunner, and director of The Acolyte, Leslie Headland. Set during the High Republic, The Acolyte is a mystery thriller about a Jedi and her former Padawan investigating crimes. It seems like you are in great hands with showrunner Leslie Headland. How much of that fan fiction she wrote as a kid do you think inspired what actually ends up on screen in The Acolyte? I don't know, I, but the next thing that I'm gonna do is ask Leslie for the fan fiction that she wrote as a kid. It's so trippy having this kind of partnership on something that can feel really morally, spiritually, emotionally deep, because that, that's what Star Wars is. It's contending with these large questions about who we are as people and what in us is light, what in us is dark. And so we've, of course, developed like this wildly close bond as we learn more and more about ourselves through working on this show. And she operates from such a place of love and passion. It just kind of oozes out of her pores. She cries when I cry, you know, it's, it's just, that's that kind of relationship. We were in the best hands. The best hands. I mean, this that woman loves this world so much, and that love was just it was it was contagious. How much of that Star Wars fan fiction that she used to write do you think ended up in the show? All of it, for sure. Leslie's the greatest. I love Leslie. Leslie's the most wonderful director ever. She has like such a creative, unique way of approaching filming, and she's so caring with the actors and with the crew. And we've had such a wonderful experience, and everyone on this has been lovely. And now we've gotten to meet the fans, and they're also incredible. It's just like a really nice group of people. Leslie is the hugest Star Wars, Star Wars fan ever. She has a Princess Leia tattoo on her hand, which you may see as she comes down the line. Um, so everything that she has experienced with Star Wars from the beginning of time is within her show. I know that she gave so much in this show and she's been working on it for years. And she really is passionate about this show. She's passionate about the story, the characters. And as an actor, you feel like you're inside yeah, yeah. fans when you're working with someone like that. I do not know, but I am going to ask her as soon as we are done with this. I, I would be fascinated to know. I asked her in the very beginning to read some of it and she is very protective. I know it's out there online, a lot of it. Um, I, I don't know. Available? I mean, can we find this? I'm pretty sure she's going to write it under a ghost, you know, in a ghost name. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry to bring up fan fiction again, but you said it and I've asked your cast about it and they all have a sneaking suspicion that some of that fan fiction may have inspired the Acolyte or at least <laughs> snuck its way into those pages. Here's what I'll say. I, I did do a couple of like um, RPG campaigns uh, when uh, during uh, COVID with, um, with my friends on Zoom and there are a couple of characters <laughs> from those campaigns that may or may not be in the show. So there's a little bit of that. The fan fiction that I wrote was many, many years ago, pre-internet. So it's not quite <laughs> what the kids are doing now. But I will say I was always interested in female protagonists that were leaning toward the dark side of the force and, and, and being um, interested in that. I think because when I was little and I heard Ben Kenobi say uh, Vader was seduced by the dark side. Vader was seduced by the dark side of the force. There was just something about that that like made my adolescent like, freak out. Like I was just like, why did he use that word seduce? Like why did that happen? You know. So I think that that possibly some of that ended up in the show as well. That's a horrible thing to say to IMDb. Oh my God, <laughs> they're gonna meme the shit out of that. Oh my God. Okay. You're in good company. I wrote Han and Leia children's stories yes! when I was a kid. Yes! You know. So Han like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Han and Leia kids. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That was you know? just the jam, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.